Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we have to graph this hyperbola, find its vertices, the foci and eccentricity of this hyperbola. The first thing we need to do is to work this, um, adjust this form to get something like this. So let's see how we do that. We're going to rearrange first 9x squared minus 36x minus 4y squared um, plus 8y minus 4 equals 0. So we arrange based on x and y terms. Now we're going to factor out for the x terms the 9, the coefficient that goes with the x squared. So then we have here x squared minus 4. For the second group, we're going to factor out the 4. And <clears throat> be careful of the sign here, y squared minus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Now we're going to do the completing the square method. And here it was an x. So we have x squared minus 4x. And to complete the square, you have to divide that 4 or negative 4 in 2. So that will be 2. And square, we're going to get 4. So that's the number that will complete the square. And also we're going to subtract 4. This guy here is a perfect square because we created, we completed. And we're going to do the same thing with the second part, where we have y squared minus 2y. And now we're going to complete the square here. We have that uh, 2 or negative 2 divided by 2 is 1 or negative 1. And if we square it, we get positive 1. This expression here is a perfect square. We create it, we complete the square. Okay, so now we're going to write those squares, which is going to be x minus 2 squared, minus 4. The same for the second part. y squared minus 2y plus 1 is y minus 1 squared, minus 1, minus 4, equal 0. Distributive property now, so we're going to have 9 times the quantity x minus 2 square minus 36. Be careful here, right? 9 times 4 is 36. Minus 4 times the quantity y minus 1 square. And again, be careful here. Plus 4, negative 4 times negative 1 plus 4 minus 4 equals 0. And you notice already these two guys cancel out. We can do that. And it's okay to do it. And the next thing... We want to rearrange and move this negative 36 you see here on the other side by adding 36. So we're going to have 9 times the quantity. x minus 2 squared minus 4 times the quantity y minus 1 square equals 36. And we're going to divide by 36 both sides. And we're going to get something that is going to be very similar with this form. That will be x minus 2 square over, and now this 9 goes in this 36 4 times, minus y minus 1 square, and this 4 goes in this 36 9 times, and 36 goes in 36 one time. So this form here is the one we need for answering to uh, the vertices, foci, and eccentricity. So I'm going to copy that form, x minus 2 square over 4 minus 
y minus 1 square y minus 1 square over 9 equals 1 and again this form here is going to help us to get the center the center is 2 and 1 then because we have this form like that y equals 1 is the focal axis and 2 and 1 that center is on the focal axis for finding the first vertex we're going to have to move two units left because a squared is 4 so from 2 and 1 I'm going to get the, ver the vertex 0 and 1 the second vertex will be moving two units right from 2 and 1 so that will be 4 and 1 so we finish with the vertices for the forces we're going to need to do c squared which is a squared plus b squared so in this case 9 plus 4 which is 13 so c is going to be plus or minus square root of 13 so the forces are going to be the first one we're going to move 13 units left from 2 and 1 so that will be 2 minus square root of 13 and 1 and the second vertex will move right from 2 and 1 so that will be 2 2 plus square root of 13 and 1 um, and we finish with the fossy eccentricity eccentricity is very simple it's just c over a in this case that uh, a is the uh, reason we use because the focal axis is a horizontal line so in this case we're going to have square root of 13 over 2 and that's it the final thing for this problem is this graph you see it here which contains all the elements we have here so you can do it uh, at each step you can plot the center then plot these vertices uh, eventually find the uh, asymptotes and then the foces if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.